Hello, I'm Andre, the founder at Zebra BI. Let me present the Zebra BI custom visuals for Power BI that will make your reports and dashboards actionable and understandable and save you some time along the way. Uh, we have two custom visuals. Let me show you how they work. The first one is called Zebra BI Charts. And let me bring in some sales data, sales value, break this down by month. And I've got a standard column chart, right? Boring, but the magic starts to happen when you compare your sales to your goal or previous year or something like that. So let me bring in the goal, put it into the plan bucket. And what I've got is a waterfall chart um, explaining that we have 23.1 million plan compared to 22.1 million goal. Oops, I'm 4.7% below the plan. So Zebra calculated all that. You don't need that in your DEX model. But if you click, uh, you get the absolute variance, 1.1 million. Uh, you can get both absolute and relative. So all the elements on the visual are completely interactive and dynamic. It's not just one chart. We've packed a number of business charts into the same visual. So you simply click on the slider, get another chart. This is a column chart, you know, area charts, uh, line charts for trends and so on. Now in the waterfall chart, you can break the axis, things like that. And if I come back to my um, column chart here, uh, this will be the trademark feature of Zebra BI. The visuals are completely responsive. So if I make the chart bigger, I don't just get a bigger chart. I get another chart with more information. So I get the re relative variances. And if I, make, if I make it even bigger, now I've got the base values, the, re the absolute variances, um, the uh, relative variances, right? Now the... Um, feature that we are most famous for are the small multiples. So small multiples in Power BI, finally possible with the Zebra BI visuals. I'll bring, I'll bring in my product categories and the same visual now renders um, 10 charts. All right, 10 charts because I have 10 products. So this is called a small multiple like this. It works with all the chart types. So you can simply slide, you know, through, through your chart. So, uh, coming back to my waterfall charts here, uh, you can click on any setting. All the settings work interactively and extremely fast. So uh, now for the now to the second visual, which is called the Zebra BI tables. Um, I'll do something similar. Bring in the sales value, compare this to my goal, and break this down this time by product category. All right. So this is now my sales. Uh, breakdown by products and this visual is again completely um, responsive so if I make it wider I just get all of those charts right but those are these are not just charts you can click on any column header to sort by different criteria uh, you can hide you know the columns that you don't need um, you know you can uh, even customize every column, change the chart type, you know, make it in a, make it like as a table and, um, and so on. And uh, for a real case, right, you typically would need um, a hierarchical view so you can bring in additional data fields, like in my case, the store chain. I'll just add this to my visual and now Again, the view has changed, and this time I have nice, expandable, collapsible matrix, which is basically a Power BI matrix on steroids. You can build a hierarchy in columns as well. So if I bring in my period calculations, I get three segments in my table. I can reshuffle the columns around or even hide certain columns only for, from specific groups. All this works great with income statements uh, because there is an additional feature that lets you set subtotals and costs on each individual row. So search for Zebra BI on the marketplace and just try it yourself.